Hopefully, so far, so good. The next thing that I want to tackle, the next incremental step in our journey here, is to have a conversation on the difference between PPI, DPI, and LPI. In other words, when we're working with imagery, we have three different units of measurement that we can use to measure image resolution. So here they are, and you might want to jot these down if you're taking notes. We have PPI, which is pixels per inch. This is the on-screen unit of measurement that's used by software. We have DPI, or dots per inch, which is used in desktop printers and scanners. So the scanners and printers that you have at home, or sometimes lower quality commercial grade printers will use DPI. And then last but not least, we have LPI, and that stands for lines per inch, and that's used on professional commercial printing presses. Okay, so what I see happening out there, and this happens even with professionals, even with people who have been using Photoshop for years and years, is they come into this image size dialog box. So they open up their client's image, and they choose image and then image size, and they go, oh, you have a 300 DPI image. And what they're doing is they're looking right here, 300. They go, oh yeah, 300 DPI. Well, it isn't 300 DPI. It's 300 PPI pixels per inch. Notice if I drop down this menu, I can go pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter. There's no mention of dots per inch. So it seems anyway that people tend to confuse PPI and DPI, but really it's apples and oranges. It's two completely different units of measurement for measuring image quality. Okay, so just be careful with that. Now, what does this mean? What does 300 pixels per inch mean? Or our low-res version of our robot was, if you'll recall, 72 PPI. What does that mean? Well, when it says 72 PPI, or when it says 300 PPI in our case, what that means is that if we were to print this guy off, again, if I were to choose File Print here, what would happen is I would get 300 pixels printed for every inch of paper, okay? Or if it were 72 PPI, I would get 72 pixels printed for every inch of paper. So obviously, the higher the number of pixels I can cram into an inch of paper, <laughs> the higher the quality the image is going to be on the final output. So that's why we have higher resolution and lower resolution, or higher quality and lower quality images. All we're doing is we're cramming more pixels into that same inch of paper. So I hope that makes sense for you. We have again PPI pixels per inch, DPI dots per inch, and LPI lines per inch.